What's up, Friday Night Funkiners? Bob. Bob is a mysterious, almighty, reality-shifting fellow. Want to know more about Bob and his goonies? Well, let's jump right into it! I just want to mention huge credit to Captain Jack Attack, as I'll be referencing the interview he had with the Bob developers for a few facts in this video. Link is in the description. Ever wonder what Bob's voice is, or how it was made? According to Phlox, one of the main contributors to the mod, they used the program FL Studio, a music production software. Within FL Studio, there are preset keys, and one of these keys is called Robo Voice. This is 100% the voice of Bob. Also, Little Man's voice from Bob's Onslaught comes from the same program as well, with his voice as a preset known as Ferriman. Okay, so who or what is Bob? Phlox explains how Bob is essentially a god. When asked about Bob's ability to turn into a scary eye form, Phlox describes the lore with intent. Hence detail. He's basically a god and just evil. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know really. <laughs> but really, it seems like the creators focused on making a fun character above all else. Bob's appearance has also been commonly compared to the insanely popular Minecraft YouTuber Dream. Although it's just a coincidence they look alike, Phlox gives some insight into the Dream references within the mod. I was the one to work on the dialogue, and it was 3am, and I was in a call with Wildy, and we thought, hey, let's, I think it'll be fun if we put a Dream reference, because haha, he looks like Dream, and it, Bob is not related to Dream in any way. But since Bob is this almighty god of evil, does he actually have feelings for others? Well, yeah! It is canon that Ophibop, a character from the mod Salty Sunday Night, is in a relationship with Bob. A drawing made by Dad Drawing L on Twitter sparked a brief conversation between the creators of both mods. In a Discord message, both creators were supportive of the idea, and it's now canon. At the end of Bob's Onslaught, we see a glimpse into a Google Drive link with various files. These files lead to an ARG possibly related to Bob. An ARG stands for Alternate Reality Game, in which people can use real life or digital assets like links or files to convey a usually fictional story. These ARGs involve puzzles for users to try to solve and piece a story together. Anyways, when this Google Drive link was first discovered, no one really knew if the contents were real, fake, if it led to Bob, anything. The links included cryptic photos, weird text, and more. However, it gained large attention and was eventually addressed by the creators themselves. The ARG is fake and has no relation to the Bob mod. It was simply started as a funny joke by the devs, but quickly grew in popularity, it overwhelmed the developers, and they discontinued the ARG. Rest easy, y'all. Bob's lore is still up for grabs. Little Man's song from the Onslaught week is exactly 7 minutes and 33 seconds long. As of now, this makes it the second lengthiest mod song with unique characters in Friday Night Funkin'. The only other song that is longer than Little Man's is called Splitathon. This comes from the Dave and Bambi mod, and the song is about 10 whole minutes. During the Bob Takeover Week in the Bob and Bossip mod, Ron has special dialogue if you happen to have the recording program OBS open. During Ron's meltdown, he will address the player directly and ask them to end their OBS recording in order to help him escape Bob and the game itself. Sorry Ron, maybe the next Let's Play. During any FNF song, if you press 7 on the keyboard, it opens up the debug menu. From here, you can manipulate the song, such as slowing it down or changing notes. In the Bob mod, if you press 7 during the run song, something special happens. You're met with a pixelated screen displaying you can't run. The music in the background is pretty unsettling until you find out where it actually comes from. Sir Oofy90 on YouTube found that this music is actually a super slowed version of Tankman's UG song with some distortion.
If you die and run, the mod opens a Google page titled Bob is Mad. If you scroll all the way down, an audio file plays with even more creepy audio. In reality, this is a distorted, slowed, and reverse version of Why You Actin' Sus on YouTube. Why you actin' sus? Why you actin' sus now? Similarly, in the song Onslaught, if you press 7, another spooky screen will show up, although another unsettling tune plays. The actual song is an incredibly slowed and distorted version of the boss theme in the American release of Sonic CD. The sprite sheet for Ron is actually based off the High Effort Tankman mod. High Effort Tankman was a mod that came out before Week 7 released in Friday Night Funkin'. It mimicked what Tankman would most likely look like in the official release. And Ron actually has his own UG animation. This plays when Ron falls backwards, or when a meme sound effect plays like, bruh, the Taco Bell thing, or glass shattering. It consists of a whopping five frames. All of his other animations are two frames each, with his neutral animation being three frames. To give perspective, Bob's neutral animation is about 96 frames. Phlox wanted to make the neutral animations the smoothest, as that's the one the player sees the most and plays on loop. Ah, Ron. Talk about paper cutting corners. In a cool way. Ever wonder what the development was like with the Bob team? According to Phlox, I think Bob Mod started when I was sleep deprived one day and I saw that there was a lot of similar weeks with similar style. So it's like, hey, let's do a funny Twitter post. I don't think it'll get that many likes. It gets 100 likes the next day. And then one of my friends wildly sends me a message of like the first version of Run. And that kind of just started it all. Bob's first week took a month to make, with only three people working on it at the time. Bob's mod is subtitled as literally every FNF mod ever, since it humors the pattern of many mod characters as happy in the first song, more annoyed in the second song, followed by a hard third song, usually with a different character phase. The game crash at the end of the song Run is both intentional and non-intentional. When questioned how they programmed crashing the game, Wildy, one of the coders, explained, At first it wasn't intentional. I was actually going to add it, but it turns out it did it by itself. The bug became a feature. So essentially the game crashes anyways, but it was incorporated as part of the story. Phlox adds that the crash was made to be something unique to the mod and scare the player or viewer watching. Bob makes a cameo appearance in at least five other notable mods. One mod is during the date week with Witty and Carol. Bob can be seen in the background twice actually, once passing by, and again farther back in his hell form. In Versus Sketchy Redrawn, Bob can be seen as one of the doodles on the wall, with someone named Dream under it? In Versus Tree, Bob is in the background during the first song, and turns into his hell form later on. The Castle Crashers Revived mod also features Bob, but as a secret playable character. If you type Onslaught on the menu, you can go into Skins and select Bob. He has boyfriend's vocals, but this is cool nevertheless. Lastly, during the third week in the soft mod, Bob can be seen in the train that passes by. It goes by fast, so we gotta slow things down to see our gloopy friend. What is your favorite fact about Bob, Ron, or Little Man, or any Friday Night Funkin' character? Let me know in the comments below, and I hope you all have an awesome sauce day.